All right, Jails. Last night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I still can't stop laughing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. Salute to our guy, Nate Robinson. Salute to uh, our guy, Nate Robinson, ooh. Jay Ellis. Salute. It was a valiant effort, bro. Yeah. Oof. But well, my man got laid down like a pair of slacks. I yeah. didn't want I didn't it was ugly, bro. Shout out good gamer from Belgium. Shout out Belgium. You're up in the building. It was ugly, bro. I, I couldn't I couldn't bear to see it. But uh our, our guy our guy took caught a huge L last night, man. What you think of this fight, man? <laughs> if you want to call it that. What do I think? <laughs> um Nate Oof. He, Nate approached Nate is Nate, man. Nate has one speed, CP. <laughs> full steam. We should have known that. <laughs> we should have known that from a bit yeah. the fix. It's full steam ahead, it's, man. It's one speed. It's not, you know, pace, slow down. It's not, it's forward. Oh. It's either 98 miles per hour or 99 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> but what kind of training was that, man? I mean, he starts to fight out. He's full steam ahead, blitzing this dude. I'm like, Nate, hey, you got to slow down. We need stamina. We need footwork. Like, be patient. Yeah, I think what he was thinking, CP, was as a, as a shorter guy, you probably figured, <laughs> you know, I don't have a chance against someone taller than me yeah, because yeah. of the, the reach. So I have to get closer to make it a fight. But, you know, the tactics to get closer weren't exactly Oof. polished. That's the best I could do evaluating that whole fight. Listen, man. And, and listen, this, this is not, you know, uh, to poke fun here. Because I give him a, a ton of credit in the world to go out and do what he did. You know. Facts. And I think a lot of people, you know, were 100% in his corner and support him for taking this leap. Um, you know, the jokes are the jokes. That's that's what we do. Comedy is, is never to be taken personal. Um, I, I think people laughed and it turned into a meme. I think for the whole hour straight last night, Jails, I couldn't stop laughing between yeah. Twitter and watching the Tyson Jones fight. But I'm going to tell you, bro, the minute I saw Nate, when they panned over to him in the locker room, they did the locker room shot. And you oh, saw man. Jake Paul. He was he was shadow boxing. He was ready. He had his, his game face on and everything. They pan over to Nate's locker room. He's getting like his calves massaged and his and his shoes tied, and he's looking like a complete deer in the headlights. I said, "Oh no!" That that was my <laughs> that was my first sign. I'm like, mm, "That is not a good sign." He was in shadow boxing. Yeah. He was massages. Yeah, he was complete deer in the headlights. I'm like, "Damn, Nate looked kind of nervous, bro." Uh, and so yeah, then yeah. they get in the ring. And all of a sudden, Nate's on the retreat. Before he even throws a punch, he's all the way in the corner. I'm like, oh, my God, this is bad news. He's, he's all uh, the way. He's in the corner before the thing even starts. And then uh, he starts charging him, gets a couple shots in. The first knockdown was a rabbit punch, for sure. I didn't yeah. like that. The ref, the ref was sloppy. Yeah, he and, was sloppy. And that's and dangerous because he got caught, like, behind the air, too. That was definitely sloppy. Um, yeah, it was funny because yeah. the commentators called it clean, and then I saw it. I was like, "That don't look clean." Nah, that looked like a rabbit punch. Yeah, that sure. looked like a rabbit punch. Then the second one was pretty bad, and then the third one was just like I think they they should have stopped it after the second one. Absolutely, I was full blown throw the damn towel like my man from Rocky Four. Like I was straight up yeah. throw the damn towel. Stop, off the stop the fight. Yeah. Stop, stop the fight. It's, and then the yeah. third one was just completely brutal. You know, it was bad, bro. It, it was completely bad. And then at that point, bro, I was, I was pretty, I was, I felt bad for Nate. Yeah. But then I was pretty happy that I didn't spend the money on the pay-per-view because the, the bootleg was crispy, bro. The bootleg was in there like 4K. <laughs> I mean, I could have had a fight party at the crib. I was in there. The whiskey was flowing. I was in a good mood, man. I, and uh -huh. I was damn happy that I did not yeah, buy yeah. that pay-per-view, bro. Oh, uh, man. Shout out to everybody who bootlegged that. Oh, <laughs> It was ugly, man. Yeah, it was ugly, bro. Ugly. Was and then ugly, and then somebody sent me this joint from Twitter, man. <laughs> somebody said, these YouTubers are not messing around. Last thing Nate heard was, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> that he had me <laughs> dead. Bro. <laughs> bro. 
That was feel. <laughs> oh man, yo. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> that had me roll with that. Nah, dude, what had me rolling was the Snoop Dogg commentary, man. Oh, Snoop Snoop was the star of the night. Snoop Dogg commentary. Snoop when, was the star of the night, bro. Like, I was mad worried for Nate. But then when I replayed it, and then you hear Snoop go, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop. Snoop was the star of the night, uh, man. He he just made himself at home. He was in Staples Center. He yeah. was smoking once. He was ready to go, man. He was in the slides. Like he was chilling. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, it, listen, I un- overestimated or underestimated rather, um, this kid Jake Paul, because he had only fought, you know, I don't really follow what him and his brother do. You know, they do like a lot of controversial stuff on YouTube. It's just not really my speed, but I never heard of him. I don't even I had I had heard really. of him. And when he fought some other YouTuber called KSI, I never saw the fight, but I just thought it was just some, you know, amateur thing. So I thought Nate would have been all right. But going into, like, looking at it, this kid was clearly, even if it was only a second fight, this kid was leaps and bounds um, more prepared than Nate was. And it was dangerous, bro. That that last that last yeah. knockout really could have uh, put him out, bro. That, that, was, that was tough, man. Like I said, after the second one, I was ready to see him stop the whole thing, bro. Yeah, it was obvious that Nate had never really fought before, and he has. Yeah. It was obvious within seconds of the fight starting. Even the punch he caught him with, it was like wild, it was like a wildly calculated punch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, this, this kid was well more seasoned, and it was only his second amateur fight. I don't know who was training Nate, man. He needed, like, Teddy Atlas or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. He had to go back to the classics, but... I, I don't know. Maybe he just got in, and all the training went out the window, man, and, and he just, you know... You know he's not known for his defense, JL. So yeah, he was wide open. you know that. <laughs>